these days we are running short on time now let me just start yes let's start our our class now uh, with respect to with respect to our uh, newspaper today now what has happened is uh if you uh this is one news with respect to when uh the uh the executive is basically overruling uh the bureaucrats as well as the minister now uh this is a news which is kind of a controversial news that there's there's an officer who was already in docks in the sense that uh there was tree felling cases in the rajaji national park now rajaji you should be aware where rajaji national park is it's in the shivalik range and uttarakhand has two uh, the two of these tiger reserves so uh, one of them is the rajaji uh, uh, park now uh, there was some tree felling that happened a couple of years ago in rajaji national park and uh, uh, the 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 officer in charge was was this person named rahul from the indian forest services and uh, there was investigation going on about about his his delict uh, delictation of duty uh, whether whether he performed his duty uh, to the best or not now uh, he has been appointed as the um, so he was the head of the corbett uh, uh, tiger reserve now uh, uh, what what has happened is that uh, he has now been made as the head of the rajaji tiger reserve so uh, uh, this is something which is o- overruling uh, the uh, the chief secretary as well as the minister who had said that uh, we should wait for the departmental proceedings to get over and then uh, uh, should be appointed this person is appointed so maybe maybe jumping the gun something that you might want to uh, have have in mind when it comes to ethics then uh, or or, or uh, something which is not probably an ethical decision uh, to take then we are going to read about jandhan uh, uh, has has led over to uh, 53 accounts uh, 53 crore accounts women being empowered now uh, jandhan jandhan yojana was launched in august on august 15th of uh, 2014 now it has been 10 years since since it has been launched and there has been a, a spectacular change that has happened because of uh, this launch now let's let's talk about uh, we're going to read about this article in in two different places the first place is the editorial where jandan account uh, for the undeserved now what has happened is because of jandan account we have had 53 crore more accounts most of them around around uh, 57 60% of these accounts are held by women and uh, more than 67% of these accounts have also been uh, opened in the uh, they have been opened in the rural areas or the semi urban areas so what it does it 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 narrows down the rural urban divide this is what the jandhan uh, accounts have done and as i told you 56% of, uh, of of the account holders are women so not only does it focus on financial inclusion it also inclu- uh, includes women's financial inclusion and empowering women and to add to that what jandhan has done is that it led the first path towards what is called as jam trinity jandhan aadhar mobility so that jam trinity was was based on um, was this and then uh, we we talked about that now the government is basically moving from jam trinity to uh, jam uh, uh, upi and ul uh, uh, and uh, payment U, upi and uli lending interface uh, unified lending interface so that that entire revolution of of financial inclusion started with jam because we need authentic uh, authentication uh, of of accounts as well so first of all if you want to transfer money you need to have an account and and, and these accounts were open uh, because of this and now the cumulative transfers to these accounts have been huge the entire architecture has has been set and if you see because of people having jandan accounts uh, the upi transactions uh uh shooted first because of the uh, because of because of demonetization and then after covid it, it again shot again and right now if you see 85% of the transactions are are basically low ticket transactions which shows that this is basically pro poor and for financial and and helped in financial inclusion even the world bank has acknowledged this uh uh, uh, uh this scheme of of india and the same is again mentioned if you see the same article you will see here 10 years of jandan 
and 10 years of jandan impact of the scheme so so uh, this is all this is all uh, different things but what we need to see is the impact and then the number of accounts that that has opened second the upi uh, transactions and, and according to the world bank uh, finex database 70 per 78% of uh, uh, of indians now have have bank account as compared to only 53% in uh, 2014 so this is the biggest uh, achievement that we have and then uh, the number of women uh, th that uh, that have uh, that have this account and also the amount of money that has been transferred uh, through through this uh, particular uh, through this particular uh, uh, means so all of this has led to a digital revolution in the country so this is the first uh, set of news that you should be aware of and then let's take up talk about another news now uh, this is uh, this is with respect to uh, I, I will go on to this particular news and this this is also very important news now <coughs> the supreme court has underlined bail is rule and jail an exception even in pmla cases now uh, folks you should be aware about uh, the the prevention of money laundering act 2002 now, um, in fact, there were at least three questions in this year's UGC net on uh, 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 PMLA. So, uh, 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 PMLA 2002 and, and the when was this act actually uh, uh, enacted now. Now, you should be aware that uh, there is an international uh, body which, which basically fights uh, uh, m uh, money laundering. So uh, laundering money, you should be aware what laundering money is that you uh, the way that you are making black money and converting that money into white money. This is called as money laundering, just just like you have clothes laundering or money laundering. Now this act was, there is a body called as FATF, Financial Action Task, Task Force. Now uh, uh, we, we had signed a number of agreements uh, under Financial Action Task Force so that we can clean our governance and, and reduce the impact of money laundering in the country. Now, uh, with time, what, what has happened is uh, the Money Laundering Act was enacted in 2002 and uh, with the enactment of this act and with the subsequent amendments to this act, we have given unbridled powers to uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Directorate of in Enforcement, the Enforcement Directorate. And uh, one of the provisions of, uh, of uh, this PMLA Act uh, A is uh, in, in section 45 we say that uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the bail to an individual uh, will be denied on two instances. One is that if the, uh, if, if the prosecution is able to show that there is a crime and uh, if, if uh, there is a threat of flee uh, of, of free or influence of the uh, of the individual then the bail can be denied now what has happened is in the last few years especially after 2009 2019 when the amendment to pmla act was there what has happened is the enforcement uh, directorate has been has been putting up uh, all kinds of all kinds of uh, uh, raids and stuff I'll, I'll 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 share that article with you i mean we will go into that article as well but what has happened is that the ED has been empowered without any checks and balances and what has happened is that it is going on on a spree of, of these uh, uh, without without any uh, authorization they, they are, uh, or without even uh, any, any uh, material substance they are going on for, for that raids and then uh, under, under section 45 of the PMLA Act uh, the, the bail is not is, is basically denied. So now Supreme Court has basically said that uh, that even even in the PMLA cases and she uh, and they have recently released one of the co-accused in the Delhi excise case. One was Manish Sodia, the other was uh, Kavita uh, from from BRS. Now uh, they have said that you cannot put you cannot put PMLA cases uh, uh, in, in 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 every instance and then start denying uh, bail and you cannot make uh, that bail uh, that jail is the rule and bail is the exception under pmla and this is what uh, supreme court has underlined and supreme court has said that even in pmla cases article 21 uh, has a higher right basically everyone has the uh, right of liberty against uh, arrest so if you see this 
so bail is the rule and jail is the exception only uh, 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 is article 21 you no one shall be deprived of his life and liberty except for procedure established uh, by law so this is uh, uh, what has happened and the twin conditions uh, needs to be met but at the same point of time this needs to be seen and there is a very important uh, uh, case law which is respect to vijay madanlal uh, choudhury which the supreme court itself so in 2022 uh, it gave uh, it it said that the supreme court said that uh, and it upheld the pmla act but now it is going to uh, recheck it's going to uh, review its own decision of vijay uh, madanlal choudhury because what we are seeing is we are seeing too many cases uh, being coming to uh, ed and uh, the prosecutions you will be surprised to see in the last 25 years there have only been 25 cases that have come to conclusion under pml only 25 cases 24 of them yes over were uh, basically uh, uh, led to conviction but only 25 cases but uh, there there is a very uh, uh, i mean uh, there is a very interesting article which which is being written by a former ips officer let's read that now if you read this article you will you will get to understand the uh, depth of uh, uh, the functioning of this now uh, bail is rule jail is an exception uh, and it shall apply to all laws such as uh, the uapa the money laundering act 2002 and uh, this is what the uh, this is what the supreme court has said that the uh, under trial custody should not turn into punishment the very very important statement that if you are under trial awaiting awaiting uh, trial uh, basically before trial every evid all evidences are 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 then seen and uh, uh, so that so that the person who under trial does not uh, manipulate with uh, the evidence that person is put into judicial custody now uh, that is different from conviction so so uh, now now under trial custody should not be a punishment in itself and if you see two thirds of the inmates in india are actually under trials now uh, the, now the uh, delhi court has basically pulled up uh, the the supreme court has pulled up ed for using as uh, earlier delhi court has put up uh, ed for using stringent conditions of pmla to uh, to summon doctors and and record their statements and there's another beautiful line that you can uh, note that uh, the delhi high court said strong leaders laws and agencies generally come back to bite the very citizens that they vow to protect then similar thing has happened in mumbai as well uh, where where uh, uh, this thing has been given now as i told you in 1998 un declaration for special uh, session on countering world drug problem and the need to combat money laundering uh, was there and and uh, we after that we started with this uh, prevention of money laundering act and uh, the supreme court is due to review some of the sections of pmla later especially in context of its verdict of madan lal choudhury case 2002 which upheld the constitutional validity of some some, some of the provisions of pmla so they have already talked about that some of the provisions of pmla are, are, are right but they want to review it again now uh, first one of the first things that needs to be reviewed is that it justified the non disclosure of enforcement case information report so just like you have fir in a normal criminal case in case of a pmla case it is called as enforcement case information report uh, and and this is not shared with the accused because it is said that is an internal document and it can impact the uh, uh, investigation now uh this pml as i told you is is basically in consonance with the directives of financial action task force an intergovernmental organization to combat uh, terrorism and terror financing now what has happened is that tough laws first of all tough laws do not lead to falling crime which will which will anyways read in this article as well and this will read in other article with respect to rape uh, and murder but remember this thing if tough laws uh, tough laws will not lead to there's no correlation between tough laws and falling crime now uh, amendments to amendments to pa pmla what it has done is that uh, it has given unbridled power to ed first the definition of uh, of money laundering was broadened to con- to include concealment acquisition possession of use of criminal uh, uh, pro- proceeds of crime as, uh, as criminal activities so first money laundering was not just laundering but also possession and acquisition of proceeds of a crime was also called as money laundering so <clears throat> anything can be put under money laundering it is not the act of converting black money into white 
then second thing then 2015 the proceeds of crime was extended to assets in india if the uh, laundering was conducted abroad so even even uh, indian indian assets was involved and in 2018 as i told you the amendment uh, uh, revived the twin conditions for bail under section 45 making it the incumbent to just uh, 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 for example if i am being accused so uh, e- even even e- i have to satisfy that the crime was committed or the accused was unlikely to flee so this is this is something uh, uh, important and in 2019 ed uh, was given unbridled power for summons arrest raids attachment of property so and money laundering became a stand alone offense rather than a connected schedule offense so instead money laundering is a separate separate offense now uh, you do not need to have the normal ipc rule it's a separate offense and that is what has made it extremely problematic and you don't need uh, uh, it authorized search and seizure of property on the basis of simple warrant by an appropriate authority without registration of an fir or a charge sheet very very important and now what has happened is that the money value that they have saved is is huge yes uh, but at the same point of time only 3% of, of cases uh, 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 politicians have been implicated and more than 90% of them are from the opposition and once they become planned then then the uh, cases uh, become slow this is what is written here and um, uh, they have a very thin uh, they, they have a very thin staff of 2067 uh, people and they have only done 25 cases uh, in 21 years they have only uh, done 25 cases which means they need more people and they have to then decide which cases to go for and which cases not to go for so uh, uh, in the end pmla was framed under the fatf uh, uh, directives but it cannot go against the spirit of the constitution so very very important article with respect to something that is happening in the country for a very very long time now uh, then you have yes then you have the case of uh, up to 8 lakhs you can read this up uh, digital media policy uh, then delhi de- b- bike dealer to kolhapur sari uh, depot small ipos lift mood in the market raise eyebrows now what has happened is near karol bag uh, in fact near rajinda nagar if you have seen the hanuman uh, temple uh, this thing uh, uh, hanuman mandir temple next to it is a showroom of uh, a two wheeler showroom of yama now this guy has two showrooms in delhi okay both in central delhi now he has gone for an ipo he ipo is what basically i come to the market and i say that i am going to make my market my company public you can buy my shares now he wanted uh, he want he floated an ipo of around 11 crore rupees and he received around 600 or 700 crore rupees so what is that is happening in the market what where is this exuberance coming now uh, uh, now uh, of the 108 smes so these are called small and medium enterprises ipos now the problem is that they are not uh, then uh, i mean i mean uh, they are not actually on uh, uh, regulated by the sebi they are actually re- regulated by the nsc and the bse now uh, the ipo uh, the the main board of ipo is quite active market views listing of smes on nse as spillover of investor uh, frenzy and they have been subscribed 900 times and this is a major issue the problem is that these ipos are not directly regulated by sebi but by nse and bse and uh, some of the companies and the promoters have very small uh, businesses uh, where is it yeah so uh, there are also influencers which which basically talk about that you should buy this particular stock or you should not buy and uh, it's basically creating a frenzy among investors and they are buying these stocks and they are also very easy to manipulate now uh, the listing norms for sme companies is minimum one uh, uh, one crore uh, of post issue capital and maximum of 25 crores for sme and as i told you this this uh, particular ipo of 12 crore rupees had uh, had received uh, around uh, 5000 crore rupees on monday uh, swani automobiles you can probably have a look at that so this is this is where the markets are uh, are being being uh, uh, are functioning in an, in a way that it should not and <clears throat> then you can read about all these these are not very important 
but what is important is that from april 1 this year there are 108 smes uh, which have mobilized around 4000 crore rupees and 99 of them uh, were were basically operating on premium and only six of them are on discount so this shows that there is some frenzy that is going on and and uh, the sebi needs to come in and and have a better picture and uh, have have much more better control over uh, these smes so uh, this is another article then our polity lacks reforms uh, capability to spur 11 to 9 to 11 percent ruchi sharma is a is a uh, is a is a author he is a uh, finance he is a is an expert in the capital markets and chief investment officer of breakout capital now uh, uh, it is a it is a very very interesting article folks why because this talks about india versus china comparison and one of the best things that i uh, i i found about this article which i have uh, i've uh, i've i've been saying for quite a few number of years now is that he also agrees with the same thing that in most countries first first they give people economic freedom and once once they reach uh, reach a particular per capita income then they start giving them political freedom so what happens in every country if you see the trend of every country first every country was given uh, a, a, an amount of economic freedom for for example us or or, uh, or or any other country if you take they were they were not very politically free for example us did not have the rights of blacks to vote till 1960s women did not have right to vote till 1930s so uh, uh, the universal f- franchise or, or the political rights uh, were restricted even even in case of china they were given economic rights in 1970s uh, uh, but but not political rights so once once the economic growth was there then political uh, rights were given but in india we have made our task very difficult because first we gave political rights and now uh, we have given in 1990s we have given economic rights and developing uh, through this uh, phase is very difficult and uh, he basically says that the government intervention should be uh, uh, should be the least and in fact he makes a quip here he says areas where a ministry of government does not exist is the area where growth will come so the moment that there is there is a uh, there is a ministry uh, somewhere then the growth of that particular sector will be hampered so you can read this article it's a very very good article i i, I loved this article so uh, uh, it can give you a lot of uh, insights into how to write uh, uh, i mean i mean in number of ways then <clears throat> okay let's move on to our main articles then now jandan we have already done cm uh, the cm for sum now what this article is saying is that uh, uh, the the chief minister of of assam has has talked about uh, and and tried to make a rape case into a uh, a sec- uh, into an eth- into a uh, religious uh, confrontation he is is basically uh, referred to uh, that i will take favors i will i will uh, i will take my sides this is my ideology and basically he is targeting something called as uh, by stereotyping the muslims of assam as mia muslim so so uh, uh, basically and and uh, uh, there there were a lot of ins- there there was an instance of a rape of a minor uh, girl uh, in in some part of uh, upper assam which is which is being uh, alleged by by uh, muslim youths and uh, and now uh, they have been they have been talked about some kind of segregation in terms of uh, they are bangladeshi and they should be uh, made to leave so uh, this entire this basically entire uh, uh, this instance what what the uh, cm has said has made the entire situation even more uh, volatile instead instead of making it calmer he has made it more volatile by making it as a religious uh, kind of a statement now uh, bengali muslims have have been uh, uh, pejoratively being called as uh, mias and uh, there they uh, there been zero uh, phobic attacks on them now apart from that uh, there is there is a huge issue of again uh, reservation competition uh, uh, it's a zero sum game uh, in in the northern part of the uh, of the state and uh, it's a matter of job culture language all of them are very different and most of these people had actually come from uh, either from bangladesh 
टू लिव इन दी रो रिवराइन ब्रह्मपुत्र वैली और लोअर असम एंड मेनी ऑफ दीज हैव ऑल्सो कम फ्रॉम 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 बांग्लादेश आफ्टर दी नाइनटीन सेवेंटी वन लिबरेशन वॉर बट द असम अकॉर्ड ऑफ नाइनटीन एटी फाइव बेसिकली सेज दैट अप टिल टिल दिस पर्टिकुलर डेट एनी वन हुज कम टू असम विल बी गिवन स्टेट हुड सो दिस इज समथिंग दिस इज समथिंग विच 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 हैज बीन टाइम एंड अगेन बींग रेज पोलिटिकली बाई मेम्बर्स ऑफ ऑफ द बी जे पी एंड दे नीड टू दे नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द गाइडिंग लाइट हैज टू बी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड द ओथ दैट दे हैव टेकन दैट आई विल डू राइट इन ऑल मैनर्स ऑफ पीपल अकॉर्डिंग टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विदाउट फियर एंड फेवर एंड हीज इज सेड दैट आई डू हैव फेवरेट्स इन इन माई पॉलिसी मेकिंग देन अनदर मे बी मे बी मे बी यू कैन रीड दिस इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग आर्टिकल रेड एंड ग्रे बेसिकली पीपल हु आर अबाउ एटी गोइंग फॉर दिस गोइंग फॉर लव इन द सेकेंड टाइम इन देयर लाइफ एंड दिस इज वॉट हेज स्टार्टड इन शेंगाई पीपल ऑन डेटिंग एप्स अबाउ फिफ्टी पीपल गेटिंग टू मैरी अगेन ऑल ऑफ दिस इज बेसिकली इज बींग टॉक्ट अबाउट यू कैन प्रॉब्ली रीड दिस एन इंटरेस्टिंग आर्टिकल मे बी यू कैन शो इट टू योर पेरेंट्स एज वेल then uh, next is uh, breaking uh, a harmful pattern now this is a political article if you want to read this political article please go ahead but uh, this is this is um, breaking the harmful pattern a very very a very very important article because typically what we what we see in the news is uh, uh, and if you read uh, most newspapers what they will say is that okay you need to have harsher crime harsher laws you need to have uh, death sentences for for rape but you don't realize that uh, that that it will make things even worse having a death sentence even for uh, uh, i mean in in case of a rape cases don't you think uh, that the number of false cases will also start in- increase and and people will and you you see what has happened in case of uh, strengthening of these laws uh, of women uh, there have been a number of people who have been uh, who have been who have been caught in this men who have been uh, caught in this uh, and have been unfortunate uh, that that these women laws women centric laws have been uh, have been put and what it has done is that it has it has led to persecution of innocent persons as well so what is the the case is that uh and and what this article also says that that uh, law it is not laws which uh, which only matter what we need to see is that ra- these these crimes are happening against women especially against women who are who are uh, uh, who are at important societal positions now what we are seeing is that increase in violence against women caregivers whether teachers nurses social uh, workers doctors can be attributed to not just uh, one factor but it is a combination of social cultural economic and systemic factors we have a deep rooted uh, misogyny uh, sexism that that contributes to the uh, society and uh, and and uh, and some of these some of these uh, cases do get into uh, picture some of these cases uh, these these cases do not get uh, national headlines now um, uh, apart from that see uh, the is uh, is the comment on the value system of the country is this a comment on the value system of the country education practices or attitudes of people now um, the, the result is that uh, there uh, is is this is this entire thing also because of uh, the kind of uh, uh, movies that we are producing which glorify toxic masculinity or uh, where does this thought of immediate gratification physical or sensual come from where is this uh, where is this entire thing coming from now uh, then then the next part is that the perpetrators of these crimes also are born into a family have have siblings have married have been married do a job now where is this deviant behavior deviant sexual behavior where is it coming from we need to understand that what is the source of this deviant behavior and then uh, uh, cut it down and anyone who is who is who is implicated into a sexual assault is basically living a dysfunctional uh, life uh, he has he or she has mental illness or or uh, a substance abuse or have been exposed to violence or hyper sexualized environments which lacks empathy and social skills so this is the this might be the root cause and we need to get into these root cause before casting individuals into good and back, uh, bad backgrounds because 
people from really good backgrounds are also involved into these crimes for example we have seen the hema committee report all of these actors are, are well off actors producers well off producers but still they are doing these crimes and and you cannot say people only from the poor backgrounds will do uh, crimes so now the anatomy of a person who preys upon the weaker how 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 do we address that we need to see that the the, the early child care uh, the early childhood between 3 to 16 is the age group when the person is coming through the society it needs that uh, it needs that exposure needs to understand what is good touch bad touch what are the rights of the other person and and uh, family structure schools uh, colleges all of that have, have a collaborative effort even religion has a collaborative effort to prioritize these issues uh, for, for them to be training this this individual for coming into the society at the age of 18 so this is what we need to do rather than rather than have a, a, a approach of just uh, improving laws and just uh, for example uh, tmc head has, has called about that you should have a uh, death sentence for rape uh, this will not resolve this will e- even add more number of mi- more misery to the entire uh, judicial system then to reduce the number of rape cases then uh, this is the same article folks uh, uh, same article uh, which talks about the elephant in the room what we don't talk about and uh, this gives numbers that national Cro- uh, record bureau talk about 30 31000 uh, rapes in an year and and um, and uh, the the article basically also says that uh, uh, uh where is it where is it hmm. where is it yeah so so there is there is this uh, uh, there is this masculinity there is this uh, uh, sexism that exists there is this uh, uh, i mean um uh, the kind of the kind of mindset that is there in the polit- in, in in the yesterday's uh, politician for example uh, mulayam singh once had called about when when he talked about capital punishment for rape he had talked about uh, uh, that that men will be men so so this is this is this is where this is how our our society is being constructed and in fact in fact again uh, at times there are allegations that women should not wear uh, 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 women should know uh, should not go around and roam in the night and uh, even the girl is also responsible for such cases so we we have different kinds of uh, patriarchal discourses that that basically permeates uh, through the society which which kind of type caste society uh, m- m- uh, women into different kinds of roles so uh, this is this is something that has been talked about here and then as, as i told you that both tmc has asked for uh, encounter or by hanging uh, death by hanging but uh, but as justice verma committee of 2012 which came after the nirbhaya case said that death penalty potential deterrent was a myth this is the, the uh, uh, regressive idea for a, for a uh, retroactive uh, uh, justice please remember this so the knee jerk reaction will not help and we need to have as as the other article as i discussed the other article uh, just like the other article has mentioned about number of things that needs to be done we need to work on all these factors rather than just work on uh, um, uh, rather than just work on uh, better laws so uh, read this we have already gone through this pmla article then comes the next article which is which is uh, uh, final article uh, himachal uh, bill raises women marriage uh, age now what has happened is himachal pradesh has recently introduced prohibition of marriage uh, child marriage uh, bill 2024 and it has raised the marriage marriageable age of women from 18 years to 21 years now there is there is a Uh, a key issue to this now marriage uh, uh, comes under the in concurrent list which means both the center and the states can rule uh, can can basically have uh, 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 regulations over it but uh, the the state regulation should not be against the central regulation this is what article 254 sub clause 1 says and it will be repugnant to that cause so that will make this particular uh, bill uh, uh, i mean i mean repugnant but there is a sub section which is uh, 254 sub clause 2 which says that even if it's repugnant then the governor of the state needs to reserve this bill for the president and once the president gives the assent then this bill can be passed so what you will see is that this bill will be now been taken to uh, the president and once it's taken to the president if he if she gives the assent then it can become a act so read about this 
uh, we have already dealt with this uh, then um, uh, if you want to read humanoid scale uh, uh, skull which has been designed for Gaganyan you can read that then two important articles that you need to read Cap cabinet approves 12 industrial smart cities to spur investment and which includes a number of cities in in Bihar as well so we have Uttarakhand Punjab Maharashtra uh, 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 Agra uh, UP Bihar and Telangana so we are trying to make a necklace uh, uh, out of out of this entire uh, region and we are trying to uh, basically facilitate investment in large industries and MSMEs industries so as to create a as I as I told necklace of industrial cities along this uh, golden quadrilateral uh, and which which will have plug and play infrastructure as well as uh, uh, 24 hour electricity and we will give we have already started giving these environmental clearances to the, uh, these 12 projects that are there and a number of con uh, countries have, and uh, have also shown interest in, in basically investing in India in this in this industrial region so read about this read about all all these cities that are there then focusing uh, focusing on making UPI rupee as truly global you can read this and another article is digital transaction to treble at five uh, uh, in, in next five years so these are the articles that you need to read folks um, and and um, no, nothing more yes that's about it uh, from my side folks uh, now we will meet tomorrow and we will discuss tomorrow's newspaper with respect to economics class we have a offline economics class at 3 today okay folks bye bye